He did uh, proceed to do the cheesiest thing possible, though. <laughs> and uh, here we go, getting right into it. Toad uh, wearing wearing a White Sox jersey, so I'm going to stay uh, unbiased here. I mean, he, <laughs> you know, as a White Sox fan, I can't really say much. You are you exist in pain. Yeah, sorry. he's suffering Jerry enough. You don't have to be biased. Jerry Reinsdorf owns your team, and I'm sorry for you. Right. I can't. I used to whenever I drove to Chicago previously, like before this year. I would always drive right past Guaranteed Great right Field Point and just give it the middle finger. And this time I'm like, I'm, yeah, I don't, I just don't I even, even react do it. anymore. I feel bad for you. I can't even react anymore. It's just, it, it doesn't feel okay. Yeah, it is a Tata coming in as a seven seed versus Toad the twenty three seed. But man, the twenty three seed You wouldn't be able to, to tell it off that start. Oh yeah, very good stuff for Toad off the rip. A Tata has a lot, um, has his work cut out for him. And already looking for that first big opening here, forty one percent, but. Toad going to turn things around here. Dude, this is what I was saying. We're seeing pretty early on how Peach can sometimes outrange Ness pretty effectively. I feel like in theory you would think Peach is kind of big and floaty and doesn't really have the biggest hitboxes. You would assume that Ness is able to space out pretty effectively. But Peach's dash attack and turnip and forward air and float make it really hard for Ness to really be able to pin Peach down. It's finally we're seeing Toad, a lot of Toads like the best case scenario has been outspacing like aerial options, like aerial PK fire, just like not moving, just walking back slowly and then punishing the landing. Yep. That was a really good float off stage from Toad off to the left side earlier. Barely able to avoid an air and hold on to the stock even longer. Extend this lead massively before you get hit with the back throw. I mean that's just inevitability, really. That's just that's just the Thanos back throw. It's like it is yeah. inevitable. Ness is gonna find back throw eventually. I mean it's been killing since Smash 64, so. Exactly. Very, very effective kill move for the longest of times. And Atana, um I call attention to this every now and then. Not the most uh, not the most technical Ness player, right? He's not doing all of the uh, crazy magnet extensions, all this bizarre neutral movement with magnet. He plays pretty pretty fundamentals, pretty slow. You see him throwing out of, um, the down B every now and then, but he doesn't spam it as much as you see a lot of other Nesses. Plays it's a lot patient. of clean neutral from Matata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which can be very difficult in matchups just like this, where we're seeing kind of struggling here. 174 on second stock, trying to get any kind of comeback. But now you do have Rage as a kind of... Uh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Gonna catch that there eventually. Well, hey, you got Rage and it's gone. Was able to showcase some pretty solid movement there with with the down B, kind of fading away and then surging back forward with the down B to be uh, evasive and get a couple of hits off of Toad. A little ambiguous, but again, Toad finds another opening. It's been big stuff coming through here. Oh. Throw out this back air. These mid and high percentages, Atata is rather telegraphed, but sometimes it's still super hard to avoid it. You see this back air coming out. You know what he wants, but it can be hard to avoid it sometimes. F smash, a very bold option. Looking for a home run here. Slap. I forgot that Peach's get up attack is just the slap sound effect. Yeah. <laughs> Connects with it yet again as Yo Yo gets broken up. A great up smash there from Atata nonetheless. Toad is not going to fall for the silly uh, neutral get up into Yo Yo shenanigans. He's going to he's going to get up attack that every time. Early jump from Matata is pretty risky. Does Toad have an option to go off? Turn up is going to force attack. Very well done there by Atata. As this is what I was talking about, it can be so hard to recover with Ness. As even when you have the angle, the turn up can just eat up some of the distance on that recovery. So game number one going to Toad in a started very commanding. And then Atata just showed like that top player, like top player advantage and like knowledge and just slowly crawling back. But really at the end of it, it was Toad just going, hey, this is a matchup game. Like, did still wind up being pretty comfortable for Atata, was mm -hmm. able to search forward with it. Uh, or for Toad rather, was able to search forward with it. And the thing is, is that Toad didn't even showcase a lot of what Peach can do off stage in this matchup. You can eat the PK Thunder with turn up, you can go off stage and you can counter it if your spacing is correct. Peach really does just have a plethora of options to deal with Atata in this matchup. And it's just going to be about Atata not getting put into that spot where you need to be off stage. If you never have to recover, you can't get gimped. Yeah. Just like, that's, uh, so you're saying try and play Ness a bit like Little Mac in the way of, like, as long as you don't recover, <laughs> kinda, you're doing good. Kind of. That's, that's kind of how this match turns, how this matchup turns out. Um, except uh, on stage isn't quite as dominant for Ness yeah, as it no. sometimes is, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of the time it's going to be making your money, and you can speak more to this as an S player, on those platforms. 
like yeah. how you yeah, work around be... the two platforms. Yeah, yeah, but uh, the only issue about that though is that Peach can put on very strong and difficult to deal with platform pressure. Mm -hmm. But Ness's love to bob and weave on those PS2 platforms with PK Fire, that is why it's consistently one of Ness's most picked stages, is because of that exact move we just saw right there. The double jump cancel on the platform into the PK Fire can be pretty difficult to deal with and kind of ambiguous sometimes, but Toad has been doing a really good job not being at that 45 degree angle that makes it so effective. Good Thunder, how are you going to land here? Lance, good job with a fair keep up the damage. And now we're starting to see that difference here as Atata has a bit as that 40% lead. And Toad trying to make a bit of a comeback. But got to be careful that up air. He's going to catch now. Some tech Atata coming through right lead. there when it doesn't matter. But Atata taking that stock with just clean movement. Yeah. That's all it takes. Just just cleanly getting some down air cancels, spacing, a, spacing yourself around pretty effectively, and catching Toad slipping when. You find yourself in a spot where he's expected to be. Stitch! Ooh. Oh, and there it goes. Yeah, when you're at when you're at 100, that extra damage boost isn't the most important thing. The back air is able to get it done. Again! Again! Wait a second, that's back-to-back -back stitches! Two and stitches he, in a row is kind of crazy. Two stitches in a row doesn't make any use of either of them. <laughs> yeah, he, he Dude, threw Talk them about both a bag away. fumbler, Toad. He threw them both away, that's true. Was Toad the one that had that clip where he pulls, like, two stitches of Mr. Saturn and two bombs in the oh same my, clip? Oh you know my, If that's the player we're talking with, then we're some, yeah. like... Remember, Toad's, like, Toad's lucky, a pretty lucky player. Lucky was using the gambling tag. Really, at this point, it should be. That's true. Should be Toad. Toad is the one that goes gambling, and Toad is the one that's lucky. It happens all the time. I saw him play a set of MUI where he pulled like seven stitches in one set. He had so many. Jeez. Wow, forward air almost hitting it from the other side. So there's going to be rising forward air, and still, this is the point where back throw, is that going to be enough? Just wow. barely not, but the next one certainly will. Or PK Thunder yep. off the top. Max Rage, Atata holding on to the stock just by a thread, but still able to take two stocks with the first one. And that's going to be a lot of damage. The drag down into the up tilt, putting on extra damage with the up airs, chasing with PK Thunder. This and that, that could kill if you just get hit by it. Be careful. That, this is that night and day difference between game one and two. That top player difference. Like, okay, starting to see a lot of Toad's game plan. Yeah. Atata has adapted very well. Only been hit twice this stock so far. Off stage yet again is Toad. A good back air onto the PK Thunder to make it back on stage, but neutral get up into the fire, almost get eaten with an up smash for it. And up tilt is Raise gonna the get it done. People sleep on that Ness up tilt, by the way. That did definitely just kill at like 112%. Oh yeah. That Ness up tilt is a good kill move. What's the ruckus on stream about? Is Let me check. On? Mainstream, it is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's Ice Knight on him, and it looked like that's game five. Ice Knight on in game five. Good showing from Ice Knight. That's kind of crazy. Atada thinking about the stage picks, getting into it here. Yep, one game apiece for these two. A, a one to one set count is definitely not what Atada wanted. He would, he would definitely want to be able to take that a little bit more consistency. And here we go, Town and City for game number three. Toad's pick. I like this pick for Toad. How do you feel about Town and City for, as, a, as an S player? Yeah, Town and City uh, can be awkward. You can't get as consistent pressure in the center of the stage with your PK uh, with your PK fire off the platform, the cancel. But the trade-off for that is that it's even more effective for ledge pressuring. So the ledge pressuring is better, but the neutral game is a little bit harder. And this is really good for Peach because you're going to be taking a lot of early stocks off the side with some turn up confirms, some back airs, some forward airs. And off the rip, first turn up pulled is a stitch. Yep. Okay, Toad. That's the third of the set point that out while we still can and again not quite making use of it but um uh, i also do like the stage pick because you are getting um ness is generally going to be wow just calling out yeah. that turn pull but ness is going to be getting more kills off the top than peaches straight up so the close side platforms is a good choice drop down there look for that look for that uh jump off this time yeah, both these players so far are just kind of trading back and forth. It's not a lot of consistency or big openings. It's just kind of scrapping, seeing who can get the big hits. And so far, Atata barely coming out on top of that game as Toad is able to bring himself right back in it. Each player taking sort of their two-piece combos, their ones and twos. Not, not full BNBs, but mm -hmm. enough to land a big hit, but not enough to take a stock. Tata's Tata movement getting a little bit more ambiguous as this set moves on. A little bit more technical. He's pressing a few more buttons as he kind of warms up to the set. 
get fire from that top platform. And that's what I was saying earlier, is that you can kind of get a lot of mileage out of that PK fire from the corner, but it's just not as good in the center of the stage. The up smash gets it done, and the crowd pops off for the mainstream simultaneously. It's yeah. going to be stock for stock as Toad and its head are going to basically trade within seconds of each other. So we're back to 0% pulse for both of them. Uh, trying to land with the forward air. Landing there doesn't get it done. Tab is trying to find any opening, but Toad is going to be the first one to get it done. Trading dash attacks. This is a big Toad grab. Shield. That's a lot of damage, yeah. Oh, head turn up. If they had turn up in hand, Toad had turn up in hand. Could have been a bit more. Oh, going for a big, uh, ambitious punish with that with that down B, but couldn't find anything. Could have Tata. And Good follow up with a dash attack. Just great movement there for a Tata to be able to air dodge very consistently to the ledge not forced to use that PK Thunder to recover too often. Because when you do have to use it to recover, it gets shifty pretty quickly. Especially the further off stage you are against a character like Peach. The nice further you have to do is. it away, the, the less ideal it is. Toad was fortunate to be just under that. He has that. a bomb! He's got a bomb! And if he held it for a little bit more, he could have gotten in on get up. Oh, nice down tilt from Atata to extend off of that tech chase. And a PK Thunder, Thunder, another one. That's a lot of damage. And despite Toad pulling out a bomb, this kid's magical hands are going to scrap with you just enough to tie up the game. As there goes a back air from Toad to bring Atata to last stock for this game. His third game. We got the Thunder, Thunder trying to take off side. And look for the up air follow up. I can up there on the second time, but not enough to take it off top. Good pressure, long distance there from Matata with the PK Thunder. The landing there is going to get it done, but Toad is really effectively threatening to take this game as the up smash is going to get it done off the top. Yeah, good movement above the shield and landing with a fair instead of a dare or a nair to mix up that timing on shield. Matata's been doing that so effectively. Toad never really feeling totally safe in shield. Dash attack and a land again. Now retreating, retreating fares into more approaching fares. A yeah. couple of them. That fair. Oh, that's into a big opening. Double jump fair into landing fair for the triple fair confirm. It's a lot of damage from Matata, but not quite enough. But that drag down into down tilt into a grab will that get it done for you. Such a fast combo too. We're gonna hit off the top. All just chasing down. Yeah, that first thunder was actually a lot closer than a lot of people would assume to killing. That can take a stock super early if you if you let it hit you high enough. And now 137% onto Toad. Things are getting out of hand, but is able to answer back pretty quickly. There's Stitch again. Four Stitch will be made any use of it. Well, Tad to make use of it. Neither one will once again. The most Stitches I've seen in a very long time, and none of them are landing. Four Stitches and a bomb. Then, yeah, Toad is absolutely that player with the, the gambling luck. It's had a just fishing for the snare, trying to get a connection, but the laggy dash attack on shield, the up smash to punish, and immediately Toad says run it back. Atada has no problem doing that. We are going to go back to the town and city. As he did win that matchup, he has no reason to uh, switch the stage. It worked out for him really well. Keep it going with the next Nest Peach. Atata stretching out a little bit. And I like this from Toad. I like that he's taking his time. He said run it back on the stage very quickly. He didn't think about it, about it too much. And I was worried that he was going to go into a little bit of a tilt slide. But Just like the speed run back, try and get back into his fastball. Yeah, yeah. And that happens. Back. I think it's almost always a bad idea for yeah. the mentality of the player who just lost. But Toad really took his time there, sat. He thought about it. And I know right there he's thinking about certain interactions in his head. He's thinking, what am I, what am I getting hit by too much? How can I avoid it? And he finds himself an answer within his head. We'll see if it can cut. We'll see if it can transfer to the sticks here in this game four. Get fire and now starting off already. It's had it looking to keep up the momentum from game three. Has Toad at ledge, but there's a bit of a down tilt open for Toad, but not much in the ways of a, of a combo or an extension. And Atada just getting on this chip damage really effectively. That Nair to put on some more damage. And Toad overall has been doing a really good job um, shielding and avoiding these PK fires from platform. But it still is such consistent pressure for Atada. Why wouldn't you throw it out? And every now and then it's forcing Toad into shield. Um, it's forcing Toad into his shield. And Atada has been finding extremely good pressure off the shield. Nice mix up on the timing on his recovery. 
looking for a movement mix up to try and get in and get this grab. Instead, it's going to be Toad getting the forward, getting the down tilt forward air. And another forward air at ledge, but Atata's still wow. just surviving. Can't believe that didn't get it done. Skin of his teeth. It's going to be a back air from Toad to still take the first stock in this game four. These two have played quite a few times. Atata has taken five of their eight sets. Toad has taken three of his own. Put on a lot of really good fights against Atata. Oh that side B to put on extra damage and keep putting on the fight here in this set. Up B to save him. What do we got? We make it back. The Atata up air is going to connect. Not quite going to get the kill. Thunder to chase way off stage. Toad makes it back safely though. Barely finds speed. 140% Atata can't hide in there. That was another stitch by the way. Mm -hmm. Caught that. Stitch My came gosh. out immediately thrown into the shield. And That's once again not being set. used. Yep. Where is not being... Not being used is the wrong term. Missing. Oh, damn. That is... Wow. That nest down tilt at the ledge can put on so much damage. I want to say that just did 40% to Toad as what was once a big lead for him has very quickly been taken away. Literally just completely flopped and now it's in Atata's favor. Just barely though. Now Toad is finally going to get some momentum back in his favor. You keep Atata at ledge. Great ledge pressure here oh, for Toad. Be careful that re-grab. Fair to two frame. Is, or, well, not two frame, but to hit the ledge hand. It's great stuff there from Toad. That wasn't a regrab, was it? I'm mistaken. Uh, I'm not sure, regardless. Yeah. Fair cuts to the ledge hang. Catching it. Both players can turn it for a moment there, but. Playing catch with turnips. Yeah, Toad's gonna come out on top of that war every time. So used to that move and the way it works. Good movement there with the down B to try and catch Toad off guard, but not able to do so too effectively. I love the PK fire to try and catch Toad's float angle. But the timing is just barely off. That could have been huge if he got it. More of these down tilts into jab. Okay, 50% to 77. Last stock piece. Toad looking to force a game five. Atata looking to move on from top to the winner's side. A down air in the back air is big. Nest down air for the up air off the top. So many but still alive. Great DI from Toad. It survives at the very corner. But 139, 77. You gotta find that big opening. But it's gonna be fall down in there off yeah. the side. and. Toad gonna find his way to losers, and Atata's gonna win, win, and move on, winner's side. Just kind of out consistency for Atata.